My name is John Jackson. I'm a veteran and I farm. I joined the Army at 26, 27. 9-11 uh, just took place. I uh, grew up with the Statue of Liberty and uh, World Trade Centers as my backdrop. I was going through a um, divorce at the time and I needed some uh, change in my life. And at that point, it was just the most logical answer for me to do, which was to go out and uh, hunt down terrorists you know, with, with the Army. And I did that for uh, 10, 11 years, six deployments. Farming for me was just the way through my deployments. Um, being in special operations, we would deploy at a certain time of the, I knew when I was deploying, so I would go ahead and get my, my garden ready, and the urban garden ready deploy. I would watch all the photos through Facebook and I would come back and all my neighbors would harvest everything. So I was like, man, one day I just wish I could just farm and, and do, do it on my own. Collie Comfort was my ranger buddy who got killed in action on May 8, 2010. Uh, he was a really, really good dude. And um, one of my things was that all the rangers that I went to war with, I want to honor them in some, in some, uh, some facet. And um, that's what this farm is. This farm is to honor Kyle um, and to bring in his personality, his character into this place, which he was always giving. He was always there to help. And uh, the, the name Comfort is just so, um, it has a lot of meaning, you know, for a lot of people. Comfort Farms is more an incubator farm the way our organization is set up right now is to more empower people, um, set up our main hub to give people ownership and to being able to farm, do things that maybe they thought about it, maybe they're flirting with the idea. Well, you can come here and get hands on. And I just don't want people just to come in and dig in the dirt. I want them to actually learn the business of farming. We're raising heritage animals, uh, animals that have a uh, long history uh, within American culture and world culture, like uh, the rare Mangalista hog and also the uh, very rare American mule foot, along with low-line cattle that are from Australia and American uh, chinchilla rabbits. We feel that there's a lot of value in heritage. There you go. They take a longer time to grow. It's more methodical, it's more patience. Um, at the end of the animal's life, we've put a lot of love and care into it, and um, we're protecting a piece of history. Our main thing here is to grow sustainably. Uh, we're not uh, certified organic at the moment. Uh, we are striving to be. Everything that we do here is uh, for the sustainable market. I want people to know that, you know, when they've, when, when we grow something or we produce it to market, that we took every, you know, precautionary and ethical means to grow in something that's awesome. For us, uh, the best part is not about, you know, um, you know, creating an agribusiness and all that other kind of stuff. The best part for us is after hard day's work to sit down and to eat from what we've worked with. Drink a beer and eat some food. We love open fire stuff, so it's, you know, it, it's, that, that's, that's really a part of it. That's delicious. You know, many people think that farming is like, so calm and it's so peaceful, but in reality, farm, Farming is like chaos. It is chaos. There's war every time. You got war with pests, you got animals getting sick. You know, your farm is, is always in a struggle. And for veterans, we're always in a struggle. We're, we were born and bred and conditioned to fight the struggle. And so it's a real good carryover from the actual, uh, you know, being a war, being a war area coming over to agriculture because it's constant go, go, go. Always trying to figure out what is the next thing, you know, um, the fight on bugs, the fight on soil, the fight on water, the fight on, you know, uh, personalities. Everything is going on at one time. And it so reminds me of just being in the military. And I think veterans are able to take the skills that they had with all the stuff that they were doing and fit into agriculture perfectly, where some people just fail because it's just like so many things coming at them at once. You know, for a veteran, they're just used to that. There's a sense of fulfillment every day. Um, I got traumatic brain injury, so prior to farming, I can't remember anything, you know. I've, I've been asking the VA, hey, give me some techniques on how do I remember, how do I remember. They give me more drugs. I haven't been able to do what I need to do. 
uh, being able to come out and farm, I could walk by and I could look at it every single piece of corn and I know if something's been eaten or if it's wilting, you know, and I pay attention to those type of things. And I think inadvertently it's helped me with my memory that I've lost. Uh, I can come out here and I can look at, you know, plants and I pay attention to those things and it kind of gets my, the struggles that I deal with on a daily basis, you know, to, uh, to kind of push those things aside. So I use farming as a way for my own healing I, and I totally believe that as an alternative treatment for, uh, for, for vets and being able to help us out, I mean, farming is, is definitely the way to go.